Hi, I'm Tony Robbins. Listen, I just want to reach out to you there in Sweden and say, I want to congratulate you on being a person that's always looking for the cutting edge. For you to be exposed to what we're doing here at OsteoStrong, you literally are on the cutting edge of the best technologies to change the human body in the shortest period of time. You know, I've spent my entire life basically finding people who are the best in the world and saying, what is different about them? What do they do differently than other people to transform their relationships or to make the kind of hundreds of millions or billions of dollars? What do they have in common? What do these people that are successful do? What's different about them? And I've spent a lifetime of finding those answers, applying them to change and improve my own life, and then helping millions of other people do the same. So I just wanted to say to you, that as you join the Oster Strong here and you've gotten involved in this, you have got yourself exposed to one of the greatest tools that I've ever seen in my life. I'm involved with the company because my wife Sage and I have done this for five years. And my wife normally would not exercise consistently with anything, but she's totally addicted. Because with Oster Strong, you're talking about 60 seconds of real exercise in a week. There's four machines, it's about 15 minutes of actual exertion. So you've got a minute of exercise a week, and yet you keep getting stronger and stronger. So you have an opportunity to do something no one else has done, which is have the right dosage. The minimum amount of exercise, so the maximum amount of growth. You're going to use enormous force, but not put yourself in any form of danger because you're not lifting a 500-pound weight. We're using the power of these computers to monitor and you give you this progress. And we're unleashing what will allow you to have strong bones and more importantly, equally importantly, the kind of fitness, agility, and strength and energy that you really want. Because when the bones are strong, the muscles that attach are stronger, everything comes from what we start here at OsteoStrong. So, you know, really, my whole life is about showing people that the way you get great results is you maximize your resources. Great leaders take over a company that someone else is failing at, and they figure out how to maximize what they have to produce great results for people, and that's why those companies grow. And I'll give you a fun example. I remember years ago, I, I did a talk at TED, the Technology, Entertainment, and Design Group. I'm sure you've seen the website. In those days, there was no website. There was 800 people, maybe 600 people in those days in a little room but it was like Steve Jobs was there, the founders of Google were there, it's like a who's who group. And I come in to speak, and my shortest seminar is four days, you know, 50 hours, and they say, you got 18 minutes. I'm like, 18 minutes? They go, 18 minutes, and you can't get people moving or jumping and doing the things I do to make sure their energy is high while they're learning. So I turned the audience, and I said to the people there, since they had 18 minutes, I said, I got a question for you. No one likes to talk about failure. Everyone likes to talk about success. Who here has ever failed to achieve a major and important goal? No one raised their hand, not a single person in the room. And I said, guys, I know you're out there. I can hear you breathing. And I said, come on, who has ever failed to achieve a major goal? And I got like 90% of the room to raise their hand. And I said, well, when you fail to achieve your goal, why did you fail? I'm asking you the same thing because you're about to begin something that can change your whole life. So let's learn from when we've not succeeded. I said, so when you failed, why did you fail? And people said things like, I didn't have enough time. I didn't have enough money. We didn't have the right technology. Uh, one man said, I have the wrong employees. I said, sir, I talked to your employees. I said, you have the wrong leader, <laughs> right? And in the middle of the darkness of this dark little room, I hear this voice that says, I didn't have enough Supreme Court justices. And I looked down, and it's Vice President Al Gore. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And the whole crowd started clapping, because this is in Northern California in the United States, a very Democratic stronghold, and he's a Democrat, so they're all clapping for him. And I said, well, that's one way to explain why you didn't become President of the United States, but I don't think it's accurate. The whole room got really quiet. People said, ooh. I said, let me just explain. I said, all of you, when I asked you why you failed, you told me that you were missing a resource. Money's a resource. Time is a resource. Technology's a resource. People are a resource. So you kept saying, I failed because I didn't have the resources. I didn't have the Supreme Court justices. And it's just not true. Because resources are never the problem. It's a lack of resourcefulness that's the problem. See, if you're resourceful enough, you can get the money. And what makes us resourceful is human emotion. If you're creative enough, you can find the answer. If you're driven enough, you can get through the problem. If you care enough for other people, you can get them to care for you and your mission too. So the emotions are what start wars. Emotions are what bring peace. Emotion is what gets you married or gets you pregnant or gets you to have a child. Emotion is what will get you to start a business or end a business. Learning how to direct and manage your emotion is the ultimate resource in life. And when you see people that succeed in life and in business, like, say, Sam Walton, in 1974, they said he was out of resources. You can look at the Wall Street Journal. You can look at Barron's. They all say sell. 
Well, because he has no resources. He's used up all his money as 74 stores. This is 1978, when Sears had, Kmart had 1,300 stores and Sears had like 750. And their combined value was like 100 times bigger than Walmart. They kept saying he has no resources, but they forgot he was resourceful. That he could get his team up in the morning excited to drive at four in the morning to a place that opened at six, buy some materials, drive two more hours, get back to where they lived, fill the place with those new materials at the lowest price. Today, there's more than 11,000 Walmarts. Kmart went bankrupt and Sears is near bankruptcy. They do a half a trillion dollars in business because that man was resourceful. And if you would have not listened to those people, instead of selling, you just bought a thousand dollars worth of stock and you never touched it again back in 1978, that stock is worth $25 million today. So being resourceful is what this is about. And when you come here, we're gonna show you how to use the smallest amount of time resource for the biggest change in your body. So anyway, just a little lesson to think about. It's not a problem of getting the resources. It's sometimes a problem of being resourceful and changing your body, changing your mind, changing your emotions, working out like this, just coming in for seven minutes a week, you know, with a minute worth of exercise and the whole thing, you will not believe the changes once you've done this for about eight weeks. It will, you will become addicted to it, you will look forward to it, you will feel stronger, you will feel more alive. So I'm, I'm just excited for all of you. So I just want to you know, make sure that whatever you do today, you get excited about what you're beginning. And I want to just give a shout out to Robert Jonas and his team. They built a great team there in Sweden. And I think you guys are going to find Osteo Strong to be life changing. So just wanted to say hello, wanted to welcome you. God bless, live strong, live with passion, and I hope to see you soon.